Welcome back to Final Fantasy XV, and the most accidentally rockin' vi intro I could make. Yeah, and also knock this, get down, that's not safe. Oh, that base. Oh, it's cause that big old ship. Hey, check that out. The Empire is everywhere now. Take a closer look. I like how Gladio's just like, hey, check it out. It's the Empire. It's not like you're fighting them or anything. You're just like, oh, whoa. No, they're just casually there, you know? Yeah. It's like me pointing out a piece of construction equipment on the side of the road. Whoa, <laughs> check that out. Can't believe they finally are using tillers and steamrollers. You reckon Aranea has a boyfriend? She is surrounded by guys, but who knows? Why? You fancy her? No. <laughs> My interest is purely hypothetical. Purely. Purely. Uh, but this is the, uh, the final of the, uh, the Empire's bases. Which they certainly got up walls in a hurry. Ooh, this should be fun. What's the plan? Well, suffice it to say, a frontal assault would be ill-advised. Again, stealth is our friend. We enter the base undetected and cripple it one target at a time. Are you ready? We enter under the cover of darkness and withdraw by first light. There are generators that fortify Magitek troopers. Take them out, and the enemy won't be nearly as fearsome. Let's go. Here we go. Infiltrate the mobile base. Doesn't seem very mobile, and these walls seem very permanent. I'm not... Yeah, you know, chain link fence, the most permanent of, pit of walls. No, I'm talking about the concrete wall that was behind you. Yeah, I, I can't recall if this is structure is actually up uh, prior to... Is repurposing things? Yeah, like, that could be a thing. Cannot remember for the life of me right now, though. Because that force field above you? So they're sleeping? Take care to avoid detection. If a trooper is alerted to our presence, it will awaken its fellows. It's nap time for everyone. That's not how you just ran right in front of. <laughs> so why are the robots napping? It doesn't make any sense. You know, robots need to nap. It's their charging time. I mean. Hello, sir. My phone can be on and receiving texts, and also plugged in and charging. Like I don't know. These are not sophisticated robots. They fucking walk around and shoot people and shit. They're more sophisticated than anything we have. <laughs> You'd think that. Oh, hello. Nothing to see here. Oh. Wow. That's right. We're <laughs> we're three for three for fucking up the stealth part. I like how Ignis just took uh, he just took responsibility for your own incompetence. You know, he, he's a friend. He's willing to take the blame sometimes. Did you throw magic at that thing? Yeah, I threw magic at the robot. Uh, the robot has a lot of health. As you'd expect from something around level 46 or something. You seem to be having trouble hitting it in the vulnerable spot. <laughs> yeah. Well, trying to hit the launchers while midair. I kind of realized, hmm, there's a better way of dealing with this, huh? Cannon time. Oh, yeah. It's the ultimate anti artillery. Well, it is artillery for tanks. So, like, like those little break points and things popping up is uh, us actually destroying parts off of the other machine. Just kind of guesswork at this point, but you know. It's fine. I like how that dude looks like he's just casually sauntering away. Yeah. And once again, struggling to hit him. And for some reason, they yeah. tend to move choppy or something like that while, uh, while you're shooting at them, so it makes it difficult to actually hit them. Don Hammer is a single target? It's single target and is... An extreme amount of damage, basically. Yeah. It's like it's it's handily damage capping against anything we're using against at this point. Now, I kind of realized at this point, like, hey, not all of them are awake, so let's just go uh, 
take care of that. It seems like it's going quite well. Oh yeah, they're level 18. Yeah, they're kind of low. Like, the machinery is the hard part of this fight. And we took care of that basically ASAP, so... So now I'm just killing sleeping dudes? Yeah, basically. And getting blindsides on <laughs> sleeping dudes. They do just keep coming, though. Yeah, it feels like that a little bit, huh? This might be the part where I'd be concerned if you were just stuck in an infinite spawning area. <laughs> I don't even know if games still do that anymore, but... I'm sure they do. But, again, because these things are such low level, it's, it's nearly irrelevant how many of them there are. That's that. Do the age old question how many how many five five year olds could you fight? Uh, as Noctis? I meant just like in general, I mean that's essentially what this fight is, right? How many magitech swordsmen can you fight? Yeah. Or would you rather just fight a bear or a dinosaur? Like some of them aren't even awakened yet. They don't get awake until you, after you hit them. It's just rude if you ask me. Attacking people in their sleep. Did you consider not hitting them? Uh, then the music wouldn't go away and we wouldn't be finished our fight. I see. So what you're saying is that you're not allowed to take the Beatles advice and just give Beast a chance here? No. Heads up, not. More incoming. Didn't expect to meet again so soon, Highness. <laughs> you were foolish to come here. Surrender now, or we will make you wish you had. Who the hell are these jerks? Loki and Calico, commanders of the Imperial Army. Not. this is our chance to settle the score. Yeah, I'm going to this. So, do you remember the, uh, the, like, Dude, we fought that was in a piece of machinery, like near the beginning of the game with four. Yeah, and his, his mech blew up on you. So one of those is Loki, and the other is the guy that we went to go get revenge on Jared for. Jared. The old man. Oh. Where we fought Aranea. Okay. And uh, he escaped, and some I, I don't understand why Loki is alive, because we very clearly made his uh, robot explode with him in it. You led us all on a merry chase, but your running days are over. Parvatha, take the prince alive! I wonder why they want him alive. Well, you know, we're more useful like that. Just keep coming, and we'll keep mowing him down. I mean, this is fine. They're coming out of there. Let's just shoot them. Oh, it's a robot. Even better, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> what this is meant for. Hmm. Convenient. And you just knocked it over. <laughs> yeah. <With> bullets. <laughs> and now it's floating, and this is fine. <laughs> got overheated? Yeah, a little bit. No, These things are kind of, uh... Oh. Well, hello. There's a second one, it turns out. Hopefully there's a second gun. Uh... Doesn't matter, it's fallen over. Do they never get up after that, or...? Well, if you keep the pressure on, basically no. They keep just putting people in this location, just conveniently in front of the gun. So, you know, let's just shoot them. Why not? <laughs> oh no. They're stuck in midair. <laughs> it felt like your gun was moving there for a second. It kind of... Well, you mean, like, moving yeah. with it? Like, it felt like the whole yeah. gun was sliding to the right and down, I think. I got you. <laughs> No, like, 
they did not really think through uh, people like shooting down other people while in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a war crime. So is uh, murdering the king during a peace treaty meeting, but you know. Oh well, I mean, it seems like the, the childish argument of what well, he did at first. What do you mean he did it first? Well, he did. Oh. He also did it more. Oh, it's a gravity mortar. Very nice. That uh, that gravisphere is actually is just hilariously good against um, clearing out low level enemies. So you just, your swings just start start hitting like multiple of them per hit. I feel like there's more dudes on the ground here than actually jumped out of the ship. There were many ships. There's like a couple all around the uh, the entire fight arena. Nice. Doesn't seem real sporting of them. No, they they don't want a one on one fight. Dear, let me put you to sleep. You humiliated me before. This time the pleasure will be mine. <laughs> you like cannon time? <laughs> Boss time, huh? Uh, eventually I'll operate the cannon. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't let you shoot him while he's jumping out. Which is a damn shame, because I would love for him to get stuck in that machine and float away with it. I like how I was just like pulling out some sort of threshing, like harvesting material. Like those big fan blades on the shoulder or whatever. <laughs> it's like farm equipment. I mean, these machines basically are farm equipment. They have like enormous claws, you know, for like tilling soil. They could at like getting down on their knees to get the plants, as you can see here. They're good against bullets. They're the most important of farming. I mean, farming can be rough. You gotta be careful. Yes. Farm life, it's that thug life. But yeah, this this fight is kind of lopsided just because of the environment they give you. Like, yeah, sure, Ignis is dead down there, but it doesn't matter because we can just blink away and destroy anything these guys have constantly. It looks like are they both falling down now here? Yes. Gladio and Prompter are just blinking away at them down there. They also don't know how to get to us unless they shoot missiles, but we broke off their missile turrets. So... They're kind of fucked. Nope. Uh, now you I spoke too soon. Why are you dead? Uh, I think they attacked us. We have Mega Potions and Mega Phoenixes and all that. We have all the fancy things. Oh, they have like flat cannons or something. So we got this out. Sorry to break this up. Not max damage. What? Yeah, for once. All these things can do is swing at this basically now. But, conveniently, you still have gun time. <laughs> so I'd be ashamed, I'd be, I'd be upset if you just decided it was time to leave the guns alone. Rude. Yeah, it's not the best of things. We must regroup! Sure. I, I find these kind of boss fights kind of silly. 
They're not like super hard or anything like that. But they're pretty great. A little on the long side, perhaps, but yeah, it could be just because we're a little under level for the situation. But how oh, are you? Also, deja vu. <laughs> Getting blown up by the Doc, machine. Our business here is concluded. Let us go. Like, that's it. Like we just did this thing. Like you know. Yeah, like, we, we're we're done here, right, Ignis? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like that, you, oh. you'd want to at least steal something or walk away with it. Nope, we're gone. We can't do anything about it.